I'm Stephen Sanders, and this is your Daily Energy Report. World's largest offshore wind farm is now connected to UK's grid. All 175 of London Array's turbines are now exporting power to the UK grid. The 630 megawatt facility off southeast England is the world's largest operating wind farm at sea and is estimated to generate enough electricity for almost half a million homes a year. London Array is about 20 kilometers off the coasts of Essex and Kent. The owners are considering an expansion of the site to raise capacity to 870 megawatts. Britain, the biggest market for marine wind farms, is working to further reduce the cost of technology as the country aims to get 30% of its electricity from renewable sources by the end of the decade, up from almost 12% now. Vesta is showing signs of a strong recovery. For the past two years, Vesta's wind systems has struggled as the oversupply of wind turbines on the market forced turbine prices to dramatically drop. Last year, the company announced it was cutting more than 3,000 jobs in order to try to stay afloat. However, a recent announcement made by Vesta signaled a big turnaround. The company announced that it has secured a firm and conditional order from Canadian developers EDF, EN Canada and Enbridge for 166 of its 1.8 megawatt turbines. In other news, Vestas has also announced that it is shipping three new turbine lines to be used in Denmark's Norhead Porthmost project. Once completed, it will be the largest onshore wind power plant in Denmark. Mosaic obtains a $100 million approval for California solar investments. Mosaic Incorporated, a solar project finance company based in California, believes that the fastest way to get to 100% clean energy is to allow more people to participate in building the clean energy economy. The company has been approved to offer $100 million in solar investments to residents of California. One of their main goals is to make it possible for anyone to invest as little as $25 in financing solar energy projects all over the country. Mosaic supplies capital to developers at a 5.5% interest rate, takes a 1% fee and investors can expect a full return of their investment in less than 10 years. Wind turbine contention in Falmouth focuses the negative impacts of poorly sited turbines. According to Windwise Massachusetts, a leading environmental advocacy group, the battle over the fate of two industrial wind turbines in Falmouth puts the spotlight on the negative effects of poorly sited wind turbines throughout Massachusetts. At a special town meeting in Falmouth on April 9th, residents will be asked for approval to borrow money to dismantle two wind turbines. If approved, Falmouth will become the first town in America to tear down industrial wind turbines for health reasons. Several complaints have been filed with health boards, police departments, and state agencies regarding the noise and vibration from these wind turbines. For more energy news and analysis, visit dailyenergyreport.com.